Okay, so let's take a quick look at uh, PowerPoint since that's what we are going to be talking about for the next few weeks till we get to more integration and when we get to integration it's going to be integrating Word, Access, Excel, and PowerPoint you know all the major ones in the Office suite uh, together so that they can work together so um, but let's go ahead and start off with uh, understanding a little bit about PowerPoint is basically for presentations so I'm going to go ahead and open up a blank presentation by when I go to my new this is um, the intro to the new I'm going to go ahead and click that just so we can look at the interface here. Now, at the top of the interface, you have uh, first your quick access toolbar, which is up here. Um, and if you hold the mouse over it, you'll see it tells you kind of it tells you exactly what it is, and that's the save button. This one right here is the undo, and it says can't undo because there's nothing to really undo. That's why it's it's grayed out. Uh, and this is the redo. And over here is actually how you can start your presentation. You can either push that button or you, as you can see there, it's F5. Right now, if I were to press F5, uh, a presentation starts up, but there's really nothing there to see. So uh, I hit exit to, to get out of the presentation mode. But that's how you get to the presentation. Then you have this little button here that you can customize this, this um, quick access toolbar and actually add more things up here. Um, to the right of that, you have your regular toolbar that's going to be just this entire area up here goes all the way over here with all these different elements over there and then you have your tabs and we should be familiar with the tabs because we've seen these in Word, we've seen these in uh, Access doing our database, we've seen it in, in Excel we've seen it uh, throughout the whole course of doing um, you know the office uh, applications so this should really be familiar with you and you should be aware that it is context sensitive meaning if I were to select this text it automatically gives me this format for drawing tools and all that sort of stuff whereas if I was out of that you see that is no longer there so it does help a lot to have that uh, pop up whenever you're dealing with something that can actually accommodate whatever you're selecting we have our file file menu here which we can open up and save and all that sort of stuff that's always going to be here we can export and close uh, and change information about the account that we are uh, currently using and it'll be a good idea to go ahead and you know shuffle through these tabs and kind of look at everything that's here because there's a lot of options here and it's pretty straightforward once you start getting used to clicking through and and seeing what's there uh, on the home tab it has stuff on the home tab that actually exists throughout different parts of uh, you know the other tabs but these are the most common, commonly used uh, options so they put that on the home tab to the left of here you have your slide thumbnails pane that's what this is called and this is where all your slides are going to reside right now this is empty because this text doesn't exist here is just telling me kind of what I need to do so if I was to just click that it'll go blank and I just put my title um, and then I can put my subtitle here and uh, I'm, I hit exit and I'm out of that now you can see it it has what I have up up here it, it kind of resembles the same because it is the same it's just a preview of the tab that I have here now um, to the right of this you have your slider. I don't know if you can see that. But if I take if I go ahead and select Alt and hold down Alt, I'll be able to see like these are the different keys that I am able to use to access this if I just hold down Alt. But if I hold down what is it? Uh control and then I slide all the way in. I'm gonna hold down control, slide all the way in with the middle mouse button. And now to the right, you can see I have this uh, the scroll bar here. It's the um, yeah. So we have the scroll bar. Here's the scroll box, so I can select the scroll box and go through that way. Um, we also have way below at the bottom. We have our view pane, uh, our, well our view area, and this will tell me how I can see all of my slides. I can see it in this way. I can see it normal, which is the way we've seen before, and then I can slide it to be bigger or smaller like that 
and over here we have our status bar this is the status bar this is where any information will come up if there's an error or you can't do something and when you click it and you see where the the blinker is that's called the insertion points so wherever that is is where you will be typing or where something will be inserted so that's pretty much the interface to uh, PowerPoint um, and we're just going to move on from here and uh, kind of get familiar with it by either starting a new project or go ahead and make a few more a few more um, slides uh, a cool way easy way to make a few slides will be select a slide copy and paste that slide so if I control C a slide and then I control V it automatically create a new slide equivalent to the slide that I had before now there's other ways to do that but let's say I want to delete these slides I'm gonna select shift hold shift down and then select the last one it'll shift all of those then I'm gonna hit delete that'll delete all those slides I can right click it also copy and paste I can just simply hit duplicate also and that will duplicate the slide the same thing I just did so the easiest way is with the shortcut key we're not going to get into too much detail right now, but this is just a quick overview of the interface for PowerPoint presentation.